Hey guys, welcome to game two of BSL round of, sorry, BSL season 12 round of eight between, can I switch the colors on this? Between do life and exit, bottom right hand corner, we have exit starting as the red Terran, upper left hand corner, we have do life starting as the red Terran. This is going to be on Shakur's plateau and game one was a fun one. Actually, as far as TVT goes, oftentimes TVT can get pretty laborious, particularly when it goes into the really long term map control tank matches and there's also just what can happen is, is there's just a lot of sitting around waiting for someone to make a move waiting for someone to macro up and it feels like there's just really for for the terrans playing it's intense and it's challenging and you got to keep an eye on your opponent and so there's a lot of scanning and counter scanning counter scanning and attempts at tank lines from the north and attempts at tank lines from the south and so on and so forth and it can you know and then re-macroing re-establishing battle lines and so it can be one of those matches that sometimes can go uh, hours in length. And more often than not, I would say this is the matchup that ends up being longer than any other matchup. But it feels like with the current map pool, I was actually just uh, kind of trying to listen in on Artosis's and other thoughts regarding regarding TVT in the current meta where it's a little bit more vulture heavy. And the conclusion was is it's a little bit more map centric is because maps are a little bit more open these days. That is what is causing basically because you have a larger open natural expansion and kind of larger open maps for vultures to kind of run around on that is what is leading to more or less the current vulture heavy play which i'm wondering if there were previous maps where that was not the case where that ended up yeah anyway so i do like the new vulture meta i will say i at least as far as a commentator goes it makes it a little bit more exciting and a little bit more uh, speedy and I'm wondering if we're gonna continue to see that as a trend moving forward or if it's gonna cycle back towards the siege tank Goliath versus siege tank Wraith uh, Mid game things like that. Anyway, looks like exits gonna scout the upper right hand corner He's making his way to the upper left is uh, looks like it's identical build orders just So uh, at least thus far you got the barracks being built You've got the refinery coming online for both players looks like there's three SCVs going into gas We are probably gonna see a factory opener here from do life and he's not gonna cut uh, keep it shorter for mineral. Same thing on the opposite side. We'll see if he pulls those SCVs out in a minute. A second SCV scout was moving out for exit. And it looks like he's actually moving two SCVs. So maybe thinking about doing some cheese here. So he, he has built his factory, or sorry, a supply depot in his main. He's not yet built a factory. But he's got a second SCV making his way to the north towards the 9 o'clock location. We do have a factory started in do life space. But this SCV is kind of couched here at the 9 o'clock location. And... Do Life has a very late scout just now moving out, and he's moving up to the upper right hand corner first. And this SCV is still, it's taken a, it's kind of meandered back and forth, perhaps to block a natural expansion, but kind of curious what's with the dual, with the second SCV scout. Maybe to draw the initial, try to draw this off? I don't know. But that's going to be lost mining time. In the meantime, Exit has managed to sneak up into the base. Try to keep an eye on that SCV in the interim. Has managed to sneak up into the base. He's gotten a good look at that single SCV on gas. This will be the big indicator. We do have, we do see double SCV on gas. Oh, nope, never mind, pulling off. So factory here at the main. This potentially delayed the Marine. Do life starting to move out. Fortunately for exit here, because do life is sending out such a late scout and because of a lot of shenanigans, never mind. I was gonna say, maybe he's going for a normal sort of thing. So I like what exit's doing here. He's got the single Marine here. I think he wants to try to let that SCV, which is actually, this is this is unfortunate for exit. Exit's trying to cheese. He's trying to actually show that there's an SCV there. Hey, look, I'm going for natural expansion. He's trying to convey that information and do life isn't letting him do it. He's instead scouting the bottom left-hand corner. But we do have a second factory being built. So this is definitely going to be heavy vultures to start. And it looks like do life has opted for natural expansion himself in the interim the timing of this will be well essentially there's going to be more vultures on the ground comparatively and this is this is actually got to be frustrating for exit because what exit really wants is he wants this he wanted that unit to sneak by and go ahead and look at the natural expansion and see whether there is something there or not and i'm not sure if that was a scout or not we'll see if there's a reaction do life is moving out right now with two vultures two marines and Oh, the timing of this. It does not look like they saw each other. So he's starting to get aggressive. This is going to be equal forces out in open field. But this could be an opportunity for Exit to sneak a Vulture underneath and get a lot of damage done. He's a bit spread out. So this is going to be two Vultures. He's going to be outnumbered, though, as he's engaging here in midfield. And these Marines are going to get picked off ahead of time. So Exit going for the cheese. But his army is actually... Wow. So he actually, despite 
being behind or getting an early second factory. He's going to be behind economically. Plus, he's got this army making his way to his base. Maybe he can blockade the front door with a, a Goliath of his own. But the Vultures had managed to sneak through in the interim into do life space. Able to break that front door blockade. So it's going to be... The question is, is can Exit block his front door with just a single Goliath? Thus far, he's doing so. He's getting a lot of SEV kills on the opposite side of the map. The Marines are down. The Goliath is still standing. And the Vultures are still hammering away at it. Trying to get through the front. That The Vultures on the opposite side of the map are clearing out all sorts of SEVs. A Goliath was built out of Exit's 9 o'clock. And that's GG for Do Life. Well played, Exit. <laughs> so, despite trying to convey some false information, not being able to do so, and despite kind of getting in around, he uh, is able to pull out the victory overall. So, game two goes to exit. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.